get to the start line and, and, and get moving. Like watch, watching land disappear behind you is something you've been waiting to do, and knowing that the next time you set foot on land is going to be Antigua, it's going to be 3,000 miles away, hopefully. No, I've never rowed before, um, never sailed before, never rowed before. None of us have been in a rowing boat before January this year. So I've always been really, really sporty, but I haven't felt like I've achieved what I wanted to in my sporting career. So I think being at the World's Toughest Row, I just really wanted to challenge myself like I have never before. Um, I did Kilimanjaro a couple of years ago and just needed something else. So this was like the, the next thing. Matt and I have been watching the race for several years now, so it feels surreal. This feels like a dream. It has been two and a half years of ups and downs, different challenges with uh, everything that COVID uh, threw at us and at other teams. Uh, the moment actually we're rowing out and looking back and seeing like uh, La Gomera disappear, I think that is my, my absolute moment. There have been a number of issues. Some of the crews were delayed in their shipping and have only arrived in the last couple of days. But the whole fleet dynamic, because those crews have been out helping everyone. As soon as they were here, everybody got onto them, helped them, and they're in and ready to go. The nerves and the excitement and the adrenaline starting to kick in. So I think there'll come a point, probably in the next couple of days, that the adrenaline and the excitement is going to take over. So um, yeah, we're starting to get there. It's not that easy to prepare yourself for rowing two hours on, two hours off, 24 hours a day when you're 68. Uh, but, but who knows, you know, uh, we don't have to shoot the lights out. We're going to take it steady and then maybe we'll overtake one or two as we go on. We've been doing the inspections, a uh, few things that we need to tick off here, but it does not have us worried. We're confident and we're ready to, ready to tackle it and get out there, row hard and uh, get into the motion of things. I've suffered over the years with various sort of mental health issues and um, it's one of the reasons why I want to do this. Uh, I want to really challenge myself physically but also mentally and hope to use this as some really, really good reflective and thinking time on the waves. It's going to be great. The isolation, it's so different to normal life and the only job is to row. You know, that, that's going to be a privilege. Ladies and gentlemen, Tabasco Whiskey Atlantic Challenge 2021 is on. You know, looking out to the horizon from, from Magamara, it's a long way, and who knows what we're going to encounter along the way. challenging ourselves, you know, that's why we're all doing this, right? Get the first couple of bad days out of the way and realise it's achievable. I think that's the key. Rowing across the Atlantic, here we go. Moving Nagamera behind. Atlantic roll, Atlantic roll, this is race safety, race safety. Welcome to the cab. Very cosy.
crossing our bow and they actually came alongside the boat. Uh, in the team, uh, but we overcome them as a team. <laughs>